The following demonstrates loading of the Technus One Piece IOL into the One Series Ultra Implantation System, courtesy of Dr. Roger Steinert. Begin by removing the cartridge from the inner tray and generously filling with Helon Viscoelastic. The viscoelastic should be at room temperature. Grasp the lens with forceps by the optic edge only and hold the cartridge with the IOL diagram facing up. Engage the lead haptic with the canopy and sweep the lead haptic over the optic body in one motion, leaving half the optic inside the cartridge. Ensure that the lead haptic is fully tucked over the optic body. Grasp the trailing haptic with forceps and tuck it over the optic body. Using forceps, advance the lens past the positioning line marked on cartridge so it is aligned with the lens outline. Ensure that the lens and haptics remain folded in place after removing the forceps. The smooth lens delivery with the plunger system is really attributable to two things. One is the coating on the inside of the cartridge that gives what they call lubricity, so that in conjunction with the viscoelastic, the lens can be compressed and yet move smoothly down the tube with consistent pressure. The second thing that facilitates that is the spring mechanism inside the reusable uh, plunger mechanism. That, in conjunction with the lubricity, gives a very consistent force load so that as you move the plunger, there's no sudden explosive uh, release due to built up pressure. It's just very smooth, consistent, very controlled release. Insert the cartridge bevel tip first so that it slides into the handpiece cartridge slots and push down firmly on the back end of the cartridge to securely snap it into the handpiece. If the rod tip makes contact with the cartridge, the cartridge has not been inserted correctly. Retract the rod and ensure that the cartridge is fully snapped before moving forward. You are now ready to insert the Technus One Piece IOL. The, the two key features of the Ultra cartridge are, first of all, the canopy, which is a little slot at the top that will automatically fold the lead haptic and place it on top of the optic where it belongs. It's just a nice, smooth, one-piece maneuver. And then the second is the lubricity of the cartridge so that the lens, in conjunction with the uh, viscoelastic, will nice smoothly go down the cartridge as it's being compressed. Federal law restricts this device to sail by or on the order of a physician. The DK7786 handpiece with the One Series Ultra Cartridge Implantation System is used to fold and assist in inserting Technus One Piece intraocular lenses, IOL, only into the capsular bag. The DK7786 handpiece with the One Series Ultra Cartridge Implantation System should only be used with Technus One Piece IOLs. Do not use if the cartridge tip is cracked or split prior to implantation. Never release the plunger until the optic body has been completely released from the cartridge tube. The lens and cartridge should be discarded if the lens has been folded within the cartridge for more than five minutes. If the IOL is not properly placed in the cartridge, the IOL may be damaged and or implanted upside down. Do not attempt to modify or alter this device or any of the components as this can significantly affect the function and or structural integrity of the design. Use of methylcellulose viscoelastics is not recommended as they have not been validated with this implantation system. Do not implant lens if rod tip becomes jammed in the cartridge. The use of viscoelastics is required when loading the IOL into the cartridge. For optimal performance, use the AMO Helon family of viscoelastics. Do not use balanced salt solution. The combination of low operating room temperatures and high IOL diopter powers may require a slower delivery. Do not use if any component of this implantation system has been dropped or inadvertently struck while outside of the shipping case. Do not store the cartridges at temperatures under 5 degrees Celsius or over 30 degrees Celsius. Do not use the handpiece if the rod tip appears nicked or damaged in any way.